Hey everyone, it's the interview queen Alicia Atut here and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to my interview with the alpha female. Jazzy, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time. I feel like the most appropriate question, especially since we're close to the end of the year and the year has been insane. How are you doing over there? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going crazy. Like it, it's uh, like I miss wrestling so much. I miss traveling so much and I hate my day job. And yes, I have a day job. I have three day jobs. Um, and yeah, it's driving me insane. I want to see my friends again. But, you know, it also gave me time to reflect a little bit, like, um, you know, like thinking, what do I want? What will the future bring, you know? And, you know, adapt something. So maybe it's not the worst time we're living in right now. Um, so you have to see the good and the bad sometimes. Because of the yeah. so many shows were put on hold and yeah. many of us just had to adapt, really take downtime for once because it was so go, go, go. Uh, you mentioned how a bit of that downtime was on things in the past year, but uh, what were some of the other activities you were up to just to kill all of the time that we had? Well, you know what? I had actually planned my own show, so I had to postpone it like two times. I didn't even know, like, the, the, the last date I had was in December, so the December 5th. So I was kind of planning for it, but of course I wasn't sure if I can even do this show, you know? Like, I'm a promoter now myself, so I had a lot of, a lot to do with that one. And, oh my God, I had planned so many tv shows and stuff so i had to reschedule a lot of the things and yeah i have three jobs like <laughs> i'm a security officer and i work in sale so right now we have a lot of going on because of the christmas stuff uh, and I also work with handicapped people and they also have a lot of problems, you know, they cannot adapt to the mask and everything. So it's a challenging job. So I'm really busy at the moment. Diving <laughs> into some wrestling talk, you have made it very clear that you absolutely love Christmas. You even had your tree up like mid-November before Thanksgiving. Um, oh, so you no. must be... <laughs> oh, I, I know. But you must be absolutely psyched for Christmas because we are so close to being almost two weeks away from it. So what's kind of running through your mind? Do you have any any plans for it? Well, usually I have plans and usually I buy a lot of things, but let's be quite honest, like the money is tight now. So I have to, of course, tell my friends, I'm sorry, you will only get a little bit. Um, but I think it's not... Um, you know, like you don't have to buy a lot of expensive things, you know, like if it comes from the heart, it's really um, so now I'm like, you know, I'm sitting there and doing like little crafty things and I want to surprise my friends. So I love Christmas. But you know what? Yesterday I was at a friend's place and she has like this charity thing. So you can buy like a Christmas ball and then you can, you know, um, spend some money for kids who need it most. So I go to her house and she's even more crazy than me. She has like three Christmas trees and she have like this little... <laughs> yes! <laughs> and she has like a Christmas town, you know, like, and she said like... Every year she buys a little one and then uh, she had like this huge town. So I know what I want to do in future. <laughs> That's so cute. It's cool that you can get some random inspiration and be like, all right, I'm going to steal this, steal that. 2021 is <laughs> the year. Your house will be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> You had briefly mentioned how 2020 did see uh, the start of a new venture for you, and that was your own promotion, Serious Sports Entertainment. So, of course, things have unfortunately had to have been put on hold for a little bit because of the pandemic. But something I was curious about is if you could kind of have that dream booking come true for one of your very own SSE shows. Who would you love to bring in uh, to main event your very own promotion? Oh, that's a really good question. Like, if I had all the money that I want... Mm -hmm. Oh man, I mean, there's so many talented people out there. So, oh man, that's like a really tough question. Um, well, I want to have it like really super entertaining, you know, like I don't, well, I like the wrestling these days, but for me personally, I need a little more color. So if there's a dream match I can have, it would be Tatanka from back in the days when he was like all colorful with the, with the feathers and everything um, against... Who do I want to have him fighting? I don't know. Someone really entertaining. Maybe. Oh, I know. The guy with the guitar. The honky-tonk man. 
Imagine Ooh. Donkey Dog Man against Tatanka. That would be my main event. <laughs> well, something that was so interesting about your promotion was the fact that you didn't just focus on wrestling. Like, you really wanted to make it entertainment. So the fact you would have a little bit of singing in the crowd, like, that would just be really mm-hmm. dope. I can see yeah. it working. <laughs> Like, I have these dancers. I hired these dancers. I know. Like, I was on a tour with a rock star last year, and I met these amazing girls, you know. They were not just on the stage amazing. They were also, like, really amazing personalities, and that, I think, is important. So you have, like, also, like, a really great backstage atmosphere you know so and for example we have like one girl and she's like a unicorn girl she has like also pink hair and and she has like you know all colorful and I had like the idea that the girls come out as a cupcake so they have like this cupcake outfit and then they give like the fans some candies and then we have like pink balloons so uh, her entrance will be so fun yeah so this is like the (laughs) style I want to go you know like I want to have fun I want to make for the people who come there for like the three hours my show is on that they forgot everything and they will be sucked in into a little yeah fantasy world I can't wait to see you one day when the world's back to normal, uh, whether you're running in Germany or happen to come to North America, in the crowd grabbing a little. <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to you being in the ring, you are a 10 time champion in the world of wrestling and have held championships all over the world, ranging from Swiss wrestling entertainment to stardom. So is there any country or promotion left on your wrestling hit list you would really love to go to and take your talents to? Absolutely. I need to go to America and I want to have an American championship. Like that's like, seriously, that's like missing big time for me. Like I'm not even talking like big league. It could be also like a smaller one, you know, but this would be something I'm really, yeah, like this is what I miss because I had never the chance to show the American fans what I actually have to offer. I had like this one match at the Mae Young Classic where all the fans were like, who the hell is this girl, you know, and, and they were so exciting and they never knew about me, but I'm like in the business since 20 years. And so that's really sad that they don't know about me, but I hope soon I can change that. Absolutely. <laughs> One thing about you, I feel like uh, fans of yours do know, and it's up there and it's out front is the fact that you are known as the alpha female, which I think is so ridiculously clever. Uh, so I was wondering, did you give yourself that name or was that nickname given to you by somebody? How did that kind of come to be? Yeah, actually it was given to me. So I had a boyfriend who was a wrestler back in the days and he was on tour and I was at home and he said to the girls, which was not true, he said to the girls, oh, Jessie is jealous, you know, and they were like, why is she jealous? She's the alpha female. And I'm like, wow, that's a really cool name. You know, I should keep that. Yeah. Now, <laughs> later, you still use it. That's that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Although a lot of people have prob- like trouble to pronounce this name or like understand this name, like even in Germany, you know, that they, they don't understand well alpha they maybe understand but then it comes to female they i'm like what is female i'm like oh man guys <laughs> so yeah but is there a german to say it or like when you're no. announcing the ring or no okay. uh, not really i mean you can you can of course say it in german like alpha frauchen but that's not the same like alpha female you know um <laughs> One of the first things I noticed about you when I first watched you on my screen a few years back um, Mm -hmm. was that you had all of these super cool tattoos. So what was the first tattoo that you actually ever got? Actually, and uh, it's a ridiculous story. Like I got my first tattoo with 30 years old. Oh my God. (laughs) I didn't even wanted it. But my father, um, he took me to our tattoo shop and then I had like something underneath here. I cover it now. Um, It was the OM sign, like from spiritual stuff, OM. Um, But I didn't like it because the boys made like weird fun of me. And then I cover it with something else, like with a was like a fairy tale but then I became the alpha female so I had to cover that again because you know like a badass girl cannot have a fairy tale on her arm and now like uh yeah like uh like all the tattoos on my uh, left arm is from the countries I wrestled in you know yeah. so yeah. I wrestled in Norway and so that's why I have like this guy <laughs> so it looks more mean and badass <laughs> right, instead of a cute little fairy on your arm. Yes. <laughs> a little sprinkles everywhere now. It's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. That's the um, same with the hair, you know, like uh, usually the alpha female, she has like blonde hair, like really masculine. But when 
Corona came and, and all the shows were cancelled, I was like, you know what, like for a few months I will be pink, you know, because I love pink so much. <laughs> like my my real alpha fans, they hate it. They say, how oh, man, you're badass. Why are you so cute? Like, we don't like you cute. I'm like, well, sometimes I have to be. <laughs> I guess the question is choose the days you want to be super alpha, and then you can choose the days you want to be super female. So, Absolutely. you know, play around with it. Yes. <laughs> The last thing I wanted to ask you about today, I wanted to bring up the fact that on my show, I not only interview wrestlers like yourself, but also musicians. So mm -hmm. if you could have any artists create some entrance music for you, who would you love to see do that? There's only one choice. It would be Pink. I love her so much. Like, she's my big inspiration. I love Pink so much. Like, her songs, uh, the way she dressed, the way she looks. And you know what? When I was uh, in New York, like, that was like... 2013 around and I was still blonde and I had like my shaved hair everybody thought I am pink they were asking me for autographs I'm like do you know who I am yeah you're pink I'm like no but I'm a really famous wrestler from Germany <laughs> so that was really cool that's adorable I always say in wrestling you never know what can happen you never know what paths will cross so maybe one day I'll be looking your twin in the mirror <laughs> yes <laughs> Well, I really do want to say thank you so, so much for taking the time for hopping on here. It has been an absolute pleasure being able to learn more about you. So thank you thank a ton. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> of course, to everyone watching, this has been the awesome alpha female. I'm the interview queen, Alicia Toot. Be sure to check out aliciatoot.com for more exclusive interviews and features. And we will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.